In this video, I'm going to provide a quick start guide to getting started with Mostly AI. When we go to Mostly.ai, it brings us to this landing page to which I can log in or get started for free. When I click get started for free, I can sign up, provide an email address, and get a redirected link that will be provided right to my email and I can move from there. For this demo, I just want to log in using my own credentials. So it'll be jb.cole at mostly.ai and I'll click sign in. And what I will get is a email directed. So in my other screen here, I am just logging into my mostly AI account. And once I do that, I will bring it back up into the screen. So I followed the link, it redirected me, and I can now access the platform and get to my homepage. So when moving in here, you can see the landing page once we have our credentials, um, and we can see the ability to train a generator, connect to a source, get an API key. A lot of these things are covered in more detail in subsequent videos. And for this one, I just wanna show how to get started creating some synthetic data. So I already went ahead and I created, or I started to create a generator using census data. To do this, all I did was I added data and I uploaded a file right from my local directory um, called census data, where I can see all of the columns that are associated with it. From there, I go to configure models. We have a ton of different options here that we can do. Again, things that will be covered in subsequent videos in more detail, but just for this demo, I'm gonna click turbo and start training. You will see the training begin uh, and the progress will start to have the full progress bars here once it begins training. So what's going to happen here is it's going to train a model for one minute and then we will be able to produce synthetic data from this generator. From this generator. So I'm going to pause the video here shortly just to give this a minute to train and once it is done I will come back in and finish the video. Perfect, so the training has now been complete. You can see the accuracy. I can edit the description of this generator, can see all the various insights, samples, various configurations if I wanna use the API and Python client, and now we're ready to generate some synthetic data. So when I actually click back into generators, you can see this census generator has now officially been completed, and I can leverage this for synthetic data. So if I go into synthetic data and I click new synthetic data set, I'm gonna use that generator. So if you recall in the previous video, we separate the training of a generator out with the actual generation of the synthetic data. So I can now use this census generator. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything as default for this and just use it as a downloadable file instead of connecting to any type of source. And I'm gonna click start generation. So once I do this, it's now taking that trained generator on some sort of source data and using the configurations I just inputted for the synthetic data, it is now gonna actually start generating the synthetic data. Now this should move relatively quickly because it's not that large of a file. And so once it is produced, we'll be able to see the samples of the synthetic data and it will be downloadable as a CSV, Parquet file or Excel file. So we'll give this another few seconds here. I'll pause the video and jump right back in once it is complete. So it is complete here, and we can see the overall accuracy, the amount of data points and credits, which will be things pertaining to pricing for mostly AI. I can see the various reports from model or data, the samples, and I can then easily uh, download this synthetic data if I would like as a CSV Parquet Excel file, and I am ready to get started with my synthetic data. So this was just a brief tutorial of how to get started with Mostly AI and create some synthetic data uh, from a trained generator. Stay tuned for some subsequent videos that dive into more details around the various configurations and how to actually do a direct connection to databases and other sources. Thanks for listening.